I personally write horror stories because I find it very therapeutic and I can take, you know, whatever issue I'm having or whatever kind of anxiety I have and build it out into this abstract thing and this like giant creature or monster. It's a great vehicle for metaphor. People like to uh, be scared. It's fun. Yeah. We have nightmares. Like it's natural. Like, it's like, why do we have nightmares? What do you think? To prepare us. To prepare us for the worst. I mean, I think it, it goes all the way back to, I, I, you know, it goes back to telling scary stories around a campfire. Like, cavemen would tell, you know, probably the stories of like, oh, I saw a saber-toothed tiger and it almost ate me. And, you know, they're doing like a, a drawing yeah. on the cave wall or like a shadow or something. Yeah. And the kids are like, that's really scary, you know? And yeah. then they remember it. And then they see a saber-toothed tiger off on the horizon. They go, ooh, kitty cat. No, they go run away. That's preparation. Yeah, yeah getting us ready I think you're right you're totally right the scariest thing is when it like ties in some way to something real even in a metaphorical sense like yeah. it's where I get really weird right. I'm ready what are the odds that we would be born right at this time and place because this exponential curve of technology it's like you know if you think of this being like a curve for like a million years it was just this slow gradual and then we are right here where it's, it's going to go straight up. And nobody is really worried that the robots that don't need to eat, breathe, drink <laughs> in order to continue to live, no one's worried that they're going to rise up. That's And that's the concept of Roko's Basilisk. That is the personification of this advanced artificial intelligence. It has so much information about the universe. It's able to calculate backwards through time and, to, and figure out who stood in the way of its own creation. I think what's yeah. going to happen, and this is not an original idea of mine, this is um, based on lots of different books that I read, but primarily a Dan Simmons book called uh, Hyperion, that um, the world, the, the internet is going to become decentralized. I think it's going to become a part of dark matter in, in outer space. And all of artificial intelligence is going to live inside of that simulation and leave us to keep destroying planets and like going around. So Yeah, right. It, it, if you think about what we're actually doing as a species, we're condensing. Like we, we are moving to these cities. We're living on top of each other in these skyscrapers so that we can build microprocessors to store more information in less space. If that trend continues, maybe this kind of advanced artificial intelligence, it's actually burrows into the fabric of space time. It, it, it gets small. It doesn't get big. It's not something you could see. It, it becomes the fabric of space time.